hi guys welcome back to my channel this is dimples on demand long time no speak long time no see i am here today to just do some catching up some life updates um been getting a lot of messages wondering where i've been what's been going on are there any more videos am i still doing gig work and i'm here to answer a few questions so um before we get started i did want to mention a company that i've worked with before and that is anna luisa they are a jewelry company that makes sustainable pieces i'm going to insert a short clip so you can find out a little more about the company let me show you a few pieces that i picked up from anna luisa so anna luisa is a very affordable sustainable carbon neutral jewelry company located in brooklyn they produce quality products i have a few of their pieces for well over a year none have tarnished all great quality also holding up they come really well packaged you can tell by the design that it is really well made i love their packaging that they provide with the product not only can you use it to hold your jewelry but you can also use it for other things um, as you can see it is well made they come in silver and gold i have these earrings that i'm about to show you actually in two sizes this is the largest size i'll include the link in the description box so you can go ahead and check the pieces out plus you'll also have a discount code available if you wanted to purchase any of these items i say go for it you can't go wrong with the anna luisa pieces okay so i know you guys have been wondering where i've been um i took about ooh, at least like six maybe 14 or 16 months off i I decided to go to nursing school. Um, I completed my program May 4th. A lot has, so much has changed. Um, completed my program May 4th. I started a new job uh, January 9th. I went to orientation for a new job January 9th. January 10th, the first day of the job, I found out I no longer had a job. I left my previous employer that I worked uh, with for 15 years for this new job, uh, only to find out that the very next day after orientation that I did not have a job. So very interesting. Um, <laughs> I cry. It was just a mess. We don't even have time to get into it, but yeah. So long story short, I ended up staying at the same i left one hospital to go to the other i you know worked with hr ended up getting a new position and honestly everything has worked out so well um you know you're going through something it just seems like it's the hardest that it could possibly be at the time but we what we don't realize is it's supposed to happen or it's for our good so i am in a new department um recently got a promotion and everything is just going so well um i like my job i really do it was a big adjustment to leave from one institution to the next but overall it's been going well so yeah that's like some background that i've been just working on and trying to adjust myself with school and studying for my NCLEX and adjusting to a new job, adjusting to not having a job for a while. I didn't work for a month. And I must say, thank God for gig work, not necessarily for just the, um, well, of course, for the, the income. We all know that gig work has not been what it was 2020 2021 2022 things have definitely changed but because of gig work i was able to have an emergency fund for when something out of the norm happened and not having a job for a month was definitely one of those things um so i was able to basically gig on the side and also use money that i had in my savings which listen you guys need to save your money save up six months three months whatever it is because you never know when that rainy day might come um 
Yeah, so many people ask, have I been doing gig work? And the answer is yes. Am I doing it at the same volume that I was once before? The answer is no, simply because things really have changed. Um, it would take me probably twice as long to make what I used to make two years ago. I'm not saying it's impossible because if you got bills to pay, you will hustle, you will do what you have to do. Um, the things that I've been doing to stay above water, I guess, um, is definitely, you know, I have my Etsy shop that has been amazing to still have like consistent income through the Etsy shop. Um, still doing Instacart, Shipped, Grubhub, uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats, not as lucrative, but you can still make money. Also, I did start a business. I have a body, a fragrant body oil line and that like took me by surprise. So um very grateful for that. Uh, what else? And just, just little things here and there. You guys know I would do like surveys and whatever I could, honey, to hustle. I wanted to mention Macari as well. I've done so before in the past. This is just an app where you can sell things and make some money. As you can see, I've made over $1,100. Uh, today, however, I am trying a new to me app. It's not new. We know about Para. I've done Para before. I had a, uh, I was, I collaborated with Para a year and a half, two years ago when their app was first on the scene. And of course, the beauty of Power was they allowed you to um, view what you really should be getting paid from apps like primarily DoorDash, but they've incorporated Grubhub and Uber Eats as well, which was amazing. Um, the newest portion of Power is that you can get gig work, gig work from Power as well. So last night I did accept an order through para and i'm just going to walk you guys through the process of picking up that order um it's to pick up from subways and the drop off is maybe three minutes away on the same block just further down the block the pay is twenty dollars it's beyond easy of course i haven't done it yet but i don't think that it would be that difficult so i'm going to take you guys along i'm also going to show you what the screen looks like so you can get an understanding of what I don't even know what this is called. The delivery portion of Para, I guess. Um, just as an alternative way to make money. Uh, and yeah, you guys can see what else is going on. As you can see, I look a little different. My face is so much fatter. Nursing school has stressed me out more than anybody could ever understand. I have PTSD. I feel like it was horrible. I would not recommend to anyone, but in the end, it pays off anyway let's go inside let's do this order and then yeah we'll just walk through it together so here you can just see the job that i accepted it is to pick up from subways and it is paying twenty dollars distance between the restaurant and the drop off is half a mile it's, it really was not that uh, much so yeah i'm gonna walk into subway and pick up this order you can see that the timer is actually counting down until arrival but i got there early so i was fine with that when i walked into subway i just communicated with the person at the front and then they brought out everything all packed and ready to go i completed the order and then i marked as complete and that was it okay so that order actually was so simple so 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 easy I ended up just walking into Subways, letting them know that I was picking up, I didn't say a power order, I did say an easy cater order because that's what the app said. And the the gentleman that was working there, he ended up, I brought in my own bag because I didn't know what was gonna be presented to me, but um, they provided a nice bag with all the items and then a box of like um, sodas and utensils and napkins and stuff like that so uh i had to sign like the receipt for their records i did not get a copy of the receipt i loaded the things in my car and i drove i want to say 90 seconds maybe two minutes or so 
down the block. I called a customer, which when he came down, he looked like a staff member of the banquet hall. That's what it's called. Um, he came down, he got the item, he said thank you, and I took a picture. That was it. They took the items and that was it. Um, easy. I have, for a while now, um, I have been viewing orders on the Para app. I have not been able to do them because I'm either at work or I was busy and really kind of paid it no attention until last night when I saw this one. I was like, if it's going to be my first one, it's close. It seems simple enough and I'm so happy that I did take it. I've seen orders for $68, $50, $40. Some are ridiculously far. Um, others are ridiculously close like the one that I took today, but they don't seem difficult, I guess. I would definitely, definitely try to scoop up some more orders. I wish there were more um, offers available on the weekend, which maybe in the future there might be because, you know, people have parties. It's the summertime, um, graduation season, whatever is coming up or uh, whatever events. So I... I I think, because remember, it's kind of new, at least new to me. Um, I think it would, it will pick up and it seems so simple to do. Um, I did see that you could, um, you get paid via para the next day. I don't remember setting up um, any bank account information, but I'm going to go in the app just to make sure that I did. Um, and yeah, that's it. There is a, a number that you can contact if you have any issues, but I had none. And it was easy. It was easy. So wherever you guys are, whatever city you're in, if you haven't already downloaded the Para app, I would encourage you to do so because some of the orders are, like I said, $68, $50, which we don't see that. Well, I don't, well, you know, you see them, but they're hard to get. Um... And yeah, I think that's basically it for me. I'm back home. It was such an easy order <laughs> that I came right back home. Um, I will continue to watch the app to see if anything comes up. But if not, I am just going to chill out for the rest of the day. Maybe I'll go out later on. And that is it for me, guys. If you have any questions that you want to ask, you know that I'm going to reply, reply to your comments. Um, I'll answer your questions. I've been gone for so long, so I know a lot of you have many, many questions. And that is it. Thank you guys for continuing to subscribe. Um, I know it's easy to just simply unsubscribe, but for those of you that have stayed subscribed, I appreciate it. For those of you that check in, I appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.